Hi everyone, Michael Davids from Buffont Delacroix Hair and Makeup. Now, um, this is I think the third video in my series of wig videos and finding out what wig would be the best wig for you. Um, in the previous video, I covered um, machine made wigs. One of them was not so good, more like a party sort of wig. And the other wig was a machine made wig, but made with a little bit more um, detail. So, you know, with the permatease in the top. The next wig that I want to show you is called a lace front wig, which is one like this. And you'll notice that in the front of this wig, it's actually got a really fine mesh where the hair is individually hand tied into with sort of like um, how somebody would make a rug so they use this micro crochet hook to tie each and every individual hair into something that can really only be described as like a, a tool or a fly wire that's nearly invisible and these wigs in my opinion are fantastic because you know you can you can brush your hair back from your face the wind can blow and you don't actually see that nasty hard line that a lot of cheaper wigs will have. Let's have a look at how this wig is made because um, we've got the lace that goes all the way around the top and down the sides and it stops somewhere, let me just take this off. It stops, as you can see, um, around this area here. Okay, and beyond that, we've got um, the machine made wefting. So, if you actually have a look in, um, in here, you've got the lace at the front there. How cool is that? And then you actually part the hair, and beyond there, you've got that permanent teasing that we were talking about in the previous video. So, there's a seamless blend from the hand tied front into the back of the wig which will actually give you um, a lot of control when you're styling the wig. Let me just pop this on for a second so you can actually have a look at how it looks. They're really really good. There we go. I don't dress like this every day but let me just pull that forward. Let's tuck my hair in underneath. And obviously I'm not doing this for comedy effect, I'm just doing it so you can see um, how the wig sits. So if we just go a little bit closer, you're going to have a look at that. Now, if you do look really hard, you know, you can actually see that lace in there, like on the front. But I don't think people pay a lot of attention to, you know, to your head. Like people don't sit there and go, oh, I wonder is she wearing a wig, you know. And it actually looks quite, quite natural, you know, so they're, they're really, really good. And the lace that I've actually got on this wig is, um, it's a hard lace. A lot of companies call it smart lace because um, the old style um, lace that they used to use in the movies that actresses use all the time is, um, is actually a really, really, really fine and flimsy tool and um, that actually requires adhesive to glue it down. Whether as, I'll take this off, you can actually see that um, this lace here, it's actually made from quite a solid fiber and they steam it and they use heat to actually give it a molded effect so it will actually fit around your hairline and sit quite naturally. So these are these are a very good option. I love these wigs. And also the hair's been tied in such a way where you know you can comb it forwards, you can put a fringe in there, and um, and they really do behave quite naturally. This wig here is a synthetic wig and I actually think that it's a beautiful quality. Um, I've got her sister over here and she <clears throat> And she's in more of a darker colour. Now, one thing that you need to be aware of with the darker lace front wigs is 
you can sometimes see where the the little knots are in the lace because the hair's darker and you know um, but I still I think at a glance it still looks fantastic you know so these wigs are a really really good option for you to have a look at and I think even if you don't want to get a wig like this if you if you still are a little bit worried about you know people seeing the knots or noticing the lace at least you know that they're available and who knows you know you might find something that actually does work for you a lot of people will um, will buy a lace front wig and have a fringe cut into it so it, there's <clears throat> there's a fringe around the lace but it still looks quite natural when it parts just a little bit if you'd like to know more about um, lace front wigs or monofilament top wigs, please go to my website, um, Buffon Delacroix, or go to any of the information in the um, information bar down below, our Facebook, Twitter, any of those things, and contact us. I'd be more than happy to help you out.